Today's video will be about the YT660. Uh, I'll take it through some light snow and I will take it through some really deep snow over the Ogre Inlet. And um, I will show you how it all works. And uh, also risk my GoPro from uh, being swallowed by the YT, showing you the Ogre in action. Okay, so before we start, just uh, wanna show you a little bit about the basics on the Yamaha YT660. It has a 60 centimeters wide auger. That's why it's called uh, 60 at, at the end of it. And it has a six uh, horsepower engine, making it YT660. And this is the smallest snowblower Yamaha offers, at least to my knowing. Uh, and uh, it's really, really agile. It has hydraulic tracks. All the good parts from a quality big uh, snowblower is on this little tiny one, making it a great product. And it's uh, super nimble and nice to do uh, when, it, when there is not uh, that much uh, room that should be cleared. And you need the agility um, in front of huge capacity. So here we are at the technical part of it. Um, this uh, lever, as uh, you can see me pressing on, is the hydraulic tilt setting. It will stay wherever you leave the lever. If you tilt it backwards, it will stay backwards. And if you tilt it in a scraping position and release it, it will scrape. This is the throttle and you can uh, rev it. And you have the choke for starting in the front position. Uh, and it goes all the way down to idle. Uh, Basically, on a blower like this, uh, when it's so small like this, you will be at full throttle probably most all the time. Uh, in the center of the tree, you have the shoot control. Back and forth is the up and down, and you have the little electrical switch in front of this that makes the shoot go side to side. I thought this was being uh, will be weird to operate, but it's actually quite smooth. And at the end of it all, you have the hydraulic uh, tracks. This is a really, really nice system because it's uh, hydraulic pump driven. So it's really powerful and you can drive very, very slowly and still have a lot of power and the tracks will never, uh, they will spin. They will not stop uh, going forward. And the, and the step, uh, the speeds back and forth are uh, completely fluid. Um, as this is a hydraulic system, you have the expansion cup down below and um, you can um, see the uh, auger also has uh, a quite rigid mount in the center that makes the axle sturdy and does not flex. It has a plastic inlet in the chute, so when you have gravel and stuff like that, it's a little bit more smooth on the surface. You can also change this plastic inlet. You have a small tank gauge. And uh, this is the hydraulic cup. You can see the fluid down on the bottom. This will expand when you use it and the fluid gets hotter. So here I am doing some uh, easy snow blowing. This is only about five centimeters or two inches maybe. And uh, the Yamaha makes an easy pass. Uh, you can see the nimbleness of the snow blower uh, even on tracks. And uh, this has, uh, this uh, snow blower does not have any servos. So uh, the axles are completely fixed, but even so it's really nimble around corners. It doesn't take much force to turn it. And that's the one of the, the best thing with this uh, short and light and small uh, snowblower like this. They are very nimble. And um, you can also see the electric chute turns so quickly that uh, I managed to turn around 180 degrees without spraying snow all over the place. Um, you can even do it better than I did here if you're uh, a little bit upfront. <laughs> Turning around returning and uh, this is just smooth operations really easy 
I'm driving on top of gravel, so I'm using the the level function of the hydraulic damper or the hydraulic shock that sets the auger height so it doesn't uh, tear up the gravel and uh, push it through the blower. It's a really neat function on these tracked uh, units uh, that you can set the, the scraping or the tilt function. I use that a lot, especially when you have gravel underneath the snow. It's really helpful. A little bigger pass at this time, fills it up halfway almost, and uh, there is not much going out on the sides that you can see on some blowers. They throw out snow on the sides, especially if you're driving quite fast through heavy snow. They tend to leave a lot on the sides of the snow blower. Uh, this does, doesn't do that that much, um, probably due to the construction of the auger and uh, how everything works inside of the auger. So here I'm uh, measuring up the depth of the snow. It's about uh, 40 centimeters. Uh, some places it's a little bit, bit less and uh, other places it's a little bit more. You will see that in the video at uh, some places the, the snow depth is uh, that deep that it will go over the auger. This is uh, almost uh, full capacity. Uh, the snow is quite, is quite light and um, so uh, I even managed to keep a decent speed when uh, doing this uh, test. <laughs> 